Hey, going Aquarius, we're going to do your quick read and see what comes out for today. All right, shuffle these cards up, make sure they all come out thoroughly the way that they're supposed to come out. Completely random. All right, it's going to give an outcome. It's going to give the hopes and fears. It's going to give other people's opinions. It's going to give the heart of the matter. It's going to give the head of the matter. It's going to give the future outcome. It's going to give the past leading to the outcome that we're in at the present moment. It's going to give the opposing energies and it's going to give the unconscious. All right, so we're going to have a look here in itself. You may have been dealing in the past with a lot of people with ego that were deceiving you out of knowing your worth or, or make, like providing instability, but you put the action into yourself. See the cracks in that foundation? There's the cracks of the deception. See the shadows? Shadows are going to come to light in itself for juggling you in some sort of way so you can heal that heart. All right, that's the best way to say that. You're a warrior. You're a spiritual warrior. You have been through so much. It's not funny. Look, 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 look. Spiritual warrior, yeah? And the strength in that heart, yeah? Strength in that heart, you know, in itself, okay? So it does show leading into the future that keep that strength about yourself, okay? You are the abundance, okay? You may have been dealing with a lot of people who were very egotistical-based fake. I think it's uh, like material taking on too much like in itself. I'm forcing some sort of way of overindulgence. Allowed you to be who you are as a soul. They may have been very moody. They were obsessive. All right, let's get on with the reading. Right, just I'll use um, reversals in these decks so we can make sure that everything comes out thoroughly the way it's supposed to come out. And shuffling these up for ages so we can see what comes out. I'll do everything on camera right in front of you so you can see that there's no switching cards or anything like that. Whatever happened in the past that gave you inspiration into your soul and divine inspiration at that. Yeah, you had to complete it out. Justice is coming for that. So it's a time to celebrate. That heart is beautiful. And you are strength. You are like pure strength in itself, which is fantastic in itself. Whatever happened in the past, before we even pull these cards, is inspiration to you in some sort of way because there is hope coming into your future. That's why Spirit's saying protect yourself with the boundaries leading into the future, okay? As you are the fool that steps on that journey. All right, let's do this. All right, so this is the energy we're in. If it resonates, it's this card here, all right? There's the opposing energies, the unconscious, the su uh, conscious and the subconscious, the heart, the head, and the things we can't see. This is the world and the hopes and fears. This is the outcome up here in itself. And then that's the future, okay? And that's the past leading to this energy as to why. Wow. Before we even pulled the cards, man, before we even pulled the cards, it shows massive, massive, massive ego. Look at the magician in reverse unused potential somebody didn't see your potential in itself because we we're talking about that before somebody was playing on your worth you had to go within into your soul and go through that journey as you are a soul in itself they may have turned their back on you they may have manipulated you into believing that your worth is not good in some sort of way but you were dealing with somebody who did not see your potential they did not see the talents that lie in that beautiful heart of yours and you are about to show them thoroughly. You were dealing with a selfish or self-destructive person with bad actions and bad intentions because that's what that card means. It's on the past slide as well. Gave you the transformation for success. A chance to bolster your confidence, okay? But whatever this card literally says it in itself, unused potential, questionable intention, selfish or self-destructive actions. Illusion manipulation that's what the magician is in reverse up 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 school that up, upsize that's power and that's ability to manifest anything okay so it shows in the past you can't in some sort of way but you go well within your soul now here's what i want to show you something all right we have the alpha to the omega here up here okay we've got three four major arcana that have come out in one go okay and there was a lot of depression around the past with the conflict and it's so beautiful that your heart still has beautiful things in it then that's a chance to move past those traumas as you manifest into the future now spirit got me to take two cards for this what you're dealing with in the past right it's completed out 
see that and it was hard work to complete that out because there's hard work and determination and there's a time to celebrate at the present moment leading into the future but see the circus there in the background it shows like um you had to put tent poles in relationships and it was a circus in itself yeah yes definitely uh unused potential questionable intention selfish self-destructive illusions manipulation and then we've got the queen the uh knight of wands in reverse on their side so disgusting knight in itself but like chance for you to have courage and be more self-aware and build your own self-confidence which is absolutely beautiful but it shows thoroughly that you were dealing with somebody who was fake very fake they overindulged in some sort of way okay and there's a lot of it's completed out now but a knight in reverse like that of the knight of wands short-sighted impatient arrogant very temperamental frustrating they knew your, it says it then, they knew your desires and they made you feel blocked from taking action. So it shows that somebody was manipulating you in some sort of way so you couldn't see your worth, so you couldn't have introspection, so you couldn't lead into the future. See how she's sitting there looking at those future cards? I can't wait to see what's under there. But whatever that was, it's in reverse and it's also in reverse here from the past. But you have divine inspiration coming from this situation, which is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to grab this little piece of paper over here. I'm going to have a look at something impatient indecisive too hasty miscommunication very unreliable and unwilling to commit literally paid night of night of uh, wands in reverse unwilling to commit you're dealing with a dickhead it's the best way to say that a real dickhead because it's a night <laughs> um you're you're in that boss energy okay you're in that boss energy yeah that mad awesome cool energy of like abundance your heart is abundance in itself yeah but like it's cool karma and collected you know and that's magnificent in itself okay that uh wolf there shows somebody's uh watching over you protecting you keeping you safe okay look at this right this is unforeseen at the present moment all right so this will go hand in hand with this up here in itself but on the past no good luck it shows look all in reverse from the past before we even pick up these cards now that upright good luck very good luck but in the wrong way no good luck so you can guarantee that bad not so much bad things it's just life in itself but when you start playing around divine blessings because i've got a lot of major arcana here and i got the ace of ace of wands the ace of wands up there it shows that you use your intuition for starters and you understand about the interconnectedness of us all and how that oneness of us all works okay so our eyes are closed there in itself so you've gone well within to your soul to have introspection it wasn't easy but it does show that there was no good there was nothing good coming from the past that's the best way to say that where's me a little book here let's make sure i know that thoroughly but i love this little book let's have a look here bad luck <laughs> literally wait literally look bad luck no success in reverse for that card all right aquarius there are people out there spiritually that you do not want to fuck with and that is magnificent because you trust in that intuition okay when you trust and have faith in spirit these manipulative types where there's just bad luck bad things they're unpassionate there's unbridled attention there's nothing there in itself and creates let's see how this card is centered around the energy here the whole thing it was a circus this is true it was a circus there's literally a horse there walking all walking off you got a tambourine in your hand partying having a good time now in itself and if you're not we can see that introspection is leading into the future because not only is she looking into the future, but he's about to walk straight into that future. So you can see that thoroughly as we step towards our future. And have a look at the um, feelings, the thoughts. You've completed stuff out from the past, which is magnificent. All right. In reverse, it's uh, no good news. Outright, good news, no good news in itself. So we can see that there, but... Um, keep hoping because you have a ten of pentacles leading towards the future it's on the future side in itself but uh the eight of wands in reverse i'm gonna keep doing this it's all up there anyway but wasted energy impulsive behavior a need to slow down delays they put delays in your life uncertainty uncertainty of relationships man you were dealing with a f dickhead it's going to say something different there <laughs> in itself. But you can see you've got beautiful things on your side here, right? Yeah, beautiful. No no depressions, no anxieties, no tricksters, no nothing. So it's all leading into the future, which is fantastic. And you can stand true as you're manifesting into your world. 
magician in reverse on their part but it just it taught you to be who you are as a soul which is fantastic because there's your rebirth into who you are as a soul and there's your inner peace okay all that's done is just allow you to be who you are and there's the good news coming in fast okay but the good news is um not too good it does show that thoroughly in itself and it does show that well like i just yelled out in itself they put a lot of de- they were putting delays in your life hesitation a time for you to find laser like focus though but there was a lack of direction there, a lack of energy. It was like manipulating you in some sort of way. That's the thoughts. Let's have a look at the heart. Ah, oh, you got to be kidding me, man. So like I said, you're dealing with a knight here. Now it's come upright. So it does show that there's love coming in. The knight is shining armor of love. See, he wears his heart on his sleeve. Yeah, and see that white horse, that's purity. Um, It's prancing as well. So it shows prancing and like, um, like dancing maybe in itself. But it does show purity of thought. Yeah, it's a white horse. He's sitting there with his roses. Red roses may mean something to you in some sort of way. He's got his little love letters whoop, whoop, in itself. Okay, and the king in, in upright shows passion, real passion, like an entrepreneurial spirit, like somebody uh, visionary, incredible confidence, uh, creative genius, success, entrepreneur, mastery, assertive, an excellent leader and belief in yourself as well. So it shows that in your heart, you deserve it. You wear your heart on your sleeve and that's beautiful. Okay, that's absolutely beautiful. You are... A beautiful soul and, and for that to be in the heart just makes me more, makes me oh i love that absolutely love that because it's in the heart and that's what the universe is built on is a beautiful heart you're a hopeless romantic um you're someone who wears their heart on their sleeves you're a lover you are all things beauty and you are a, you may be looking at there may be a message or proposal of love coming in okay but it's like you're just having that introspection of who you are as a soul but we'll have a look in the future here in itself but um in the heart it shows you're a passionate lover a passionate lover, a hopeless romantic, which is fantastic in itself. And it does show that they're thoroughly, whatever you're dealing with in the past gave like illusions, anxiety, worries, kept you up, nightmares. The Sandman may mean something to you in some sort of way. Just yelling that out thoroughly. That's weird that spirit said that, but it may mean something to you. Himself. But yeah, you're a brewing romantic, yeah? There may be dating new love coming into your future, okay? Happy flirtation, wearing your heart on your sleeve in a different way. But you're in the, you're right, like your love and you're in, in the idea of love, okay? Because there's there's the Aquarius card there as you lead towards your future, which is beautiful. So it does show it is your reading, okay? And it is definitely your reading in itself because we got passion and then you and then we got the abundance of your soul, which is magnificent. But you just be excited for the fresh, the hunt, the conquest, One who loves the beginning or one who loves finishing. I think I, I, I'm, 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 I'm talking to somebody who is the honesty of puddles. I don't even know why I said that. The honesty of puddles. Um, puddles may mean something to you in some sort of way. Um, but yeah, it does show that they're thoroughly okay. Like you are a beautiful soul and, and, and beautiful souls deserve beautiful things. Okay. It's the best way to say that. Watch out for any synchronicities. Okay. That sparked that in itself. Okay. That's the finish line of the Phoenix, which is kind of weird that I wrote that there. You're an inspired leader. You're a visionary. You're a beautiful person. All right. And that's fantastic. And just to remain inspired because you do have inspiration there in itself and it's here and in unforeseen. Okay. Being inspired about the good things coming into the future in itself. Okay. Your inspirational success and big visions are on the way. Let's have a look at the past. Ugh. I'm oh, sorry. We had a trapped in that mind there. The ego playing on that mind there. That's why you had to go well within. But look at it trapped in that mind. Whoever you're dealing with was an egotistical piece of shit. Look, they can't even look at the mirror reflection of what they've done here in itself. That's why we've got the nine of wands here. See the nine of wands, but it's in reverse in the past. Just, just put any boundaries in place, okay? Now, the nine of wands in reverse, all right? It does say this thoroughly. It says put stronger boundaries. Like that's strong boundaries, yes, but stronger boundaries in, into anything from the past. That seems to think that it's... The game playing with people's hearts, okay, but it is a chance to let go of all pain and stories, okay, that may be playing on your mind, okay, but yeah, you may be dealing with somebody very overly stubborn, very paranoid in some sort of way, or they made you paranoid, but you are, don't give up right before the finish, that's the best way to say that, okay, because yeah, the things in the mind from the past, they led you to who you are as a soul, and that strong, beautiful abundance of you, because in between the strength and the abundance is the ten of pentacles and that's magnificent on their side look at it it's all in reverse it's all in reverse the only thing's upright is the inspiration leading into the future and there's your card straight under it so it does show that there thoroughly put an ending to it there's you and there's the ending okay it's magnificent okay um the mirror aspect because that's introspection okay and there's your introspection so it led you towards who you are as a soul so just remember that 
whatever it was from the past, the divine clarity coming, okay, it's a victory to walk away from that, it's a victory to end that in itself, because no communication, no communication in itself, okay, but it gave you a chance to grow, pause and reflect and see your growth from how far you've come from the past, because you deserve beautiful things since you're released, see the hangman's needs to be released in itself, but it's also another card of enlightenment, which is fantastic, yeah, it's another card of enlightenment. Pay attention on the 12th or the 12 12 in itself. That may mean something to you. It's been saying that thoroughly in itself. So just pay attention to that. The 19th may mean something to you as well, or the 1st or the 9th. There's double emphasis on the triple emphasis on the 9th, triple double emphasis on the 8th, double emphasis on the 16th, the 15th, and the 28th, the 14th. Just pay attention to the 12 12. It's in one day's time. Gave you a chance to let go of the outcomes, okay, leading into the future so you could have a new perspective, altered states of consciousness, sacrifice. There might have been a lot of sacrifice because I can see the sacrifice there and it's saying about this card in itself. Spiritual lessons. Somebody may have put shame or made you try and suffer in some sort of way by making you try and feel stuck. However, the unseen possibilities are within your reach. Turn the deck. I'm telling the truth. Somebody tried to play on your mind, man. That's depression, worries, and anxiety, and things like that. And it was a lover. Some sort of connection. Let's pause and reflect on how far you've come since you released this piece of shit. Okay, that was trapping you in the mind, man. Look, same card there to the same card there. It's trapped you in the mind, manipulated you, bonded you in some sort of way. Disgusting. Feeling, you might have felt really trapped there. However, you got to open your eyes to the truth and break free from old stories. It might have felt like you had no options. It might have made you felt like you were a victim or they were a victim of the circumstances. But it's a chance to see that you are not truly stuck. Oh, the growth in that mind is fantastic, yeah? Absolutely beautiful because you've gone from that creative... See, see, this is the second last part before you get to that boss energy. This is matriarch energies in my reading. So it shows we're at that top level now from the past, but there's where you were in the past and it shows that you're not so much um, easily walked over, but it does show that somebody was playing on your heart knowing that um, you would... Just thinking you wouldn't grow, but you grew into this boss energy in itself, which is freaking fantastic. You're a welcoming nature. You're a natural and generous nurturer. You're a mother figure or a father figure. You're a prosperous. You are wholesome. You're a, you're a powerful success magnet. Your stability and financial gains coming. You have a, you're a gifted healer. You have prosperity and abundance. But whoever that was from the past was stingy. With their energy, their time, their money, something, they were stingy. They smothered you. You were giving way too much energy to this person and there was no energy coming back in return. Far out, man. There's no teamwork there either. Far out. There's a lot of a, a lot of pentacles coming out at the present moment. It gave you a chance for motiv motivational grounding and an earthly person to lead forward into your journey, which is fantastic. But yeah, man, you might have been getting lost in their shadows. And what does that mean? You might have been get lost, getting lost in their manipulation. And that's what was trapping in that mind. There was some sort of psychological wounds or mental anguish that was coming into that relationship or whatever it was. It was a painful separation. And heartbreak and sorrow but it does show that they were trying to like make you lost in the shadows so it shows why those cards fell out the start of of somebody trying to trap you with not you not knowing your worth yeah fear and worry cause it causing paralysis excellent absolutely excellent beautiful there was no teamwork there and if there was it wasn't it was very little surrounded by the release you might oh, wow whatever that was you i've got to be honest about it either you or them were were seeking approval in some sort of way and they were leading forcefully but it gave you a chance they were not pulling their weight but it gave you a chance to learn who you are all right and that's beautiful because you're now got, pushing forward into your ideas but it, it says says they're like not trusting your partner's ability man with that cut there a chance to improve a mentor-student relationship. So you might have had somebody that needed to seek approval from you or relied a lot on your energy because we had the energy before that card. So we're taking that and leading forcefully. They did not pull their weight and they did not work well with others or they did not work well with you and they were pushing their ideas, which is that mental anguish, onto you in some sort of way. Absolutely. 
Wow, not trusting the. It's like you didn't trust them, or well, they didn't trust you, or something. That's why you had to walk away. See the walking away. The Eight of Cups is walking away. Eight, eight, eight as well. Maybe in something. Alexa, what is the spiritual meaning of eight, eight, eight? We're going to do the biblical term as well. The spiritual meaning of the number eighty-eight is abundance and balance. In Christianity, it represents the completion of a spiritual journey and the beginning of a new phase. Amen, Alexa. What is a biblical reference to 88? Eight. The number 88 has a significant biblical meaning in numerology, representing abundance, blessings, new beginnings, and resurrection. It is connected to the story of Elisha and the widow's oil in the Bible. That's why you released it. That's why you walked away. The manipulation just got too hard for you. It's like a game of chess in reverse there too. Depression, worries, you walked away, man. There was extreme depression. Like, it's up, oh, man. Like, seriously, like the Eight of Swords, Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, Nine of Swords. Walking away, and you can see that depression there in itself. So, it give you a chance to understand who you were as a soul. Yes, that's magnificent. But I hate people that play on people's minds, man. I can't stand it. Eh? I can't stand it. I've read so many books along the way that I can smell it from a mile away for starters. And the fact that I got spirit with me a thousand times over as I communicate that way, it's like they can't do that anymore. But like not everybody has that blessing in itself. There was a lot of nightmares, anxiety, depression, insomnia, worries, negative thoughts, negative fears. A reminder to actively engage in self-care. A chance to begin freeing yourself from negative patterns of thinking because of night terrors, paranoia, deep-seated fears that affect your daily life. So their deep-seated fears affected your daily life in some sort of way, which that's why you walked away for an opportunity to reevaluate and begin healing yourself or your your thoughts in some sort of way, okay? And it was hard work and determination. Same card here, hard work. See, there's your walking away for the finish line for the circus, and then there's a the hard work and determination, hard work and determination. And that was your victory because that's movement. That's your victory is to move away because there's the movement in itself, okay? From the sadness, man, I'm telling you, real sadness. Look, tears turn to ice in itself. And that's why Spirit's saying put boundaries in place. It's right there. Put boundaries in place, okay? That's the best way to say it. Just come through the pillars of Hercules and it's your movement. You're like a spiritual warrior. Before we even pulled these decks, it's pulled that card out. And then it showed a person manipulating your worth. And that shows put boundaries in place, okay? And that's fantastic leading into the future. It's trying to come out there on the bottom. A snake. That allowed you, the snake allowed you to learn your trials and tribulations so you could bring the wish in and it's coming in fast. But look at the snake. I would have treated you like an option. A lot of fantasy coming into the future. All right, let's have a look at the future. Oh, wow. Oh, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Be enthusiastic about coming into the future. In, in the past, no good memories, all right? Upright would be good memories, okay? The Six of Cups is memories in itself. But be enthusiastic about the things coming into the future, okay? They may, the memories may trap you in the mind a bit, okay? But Spirit's saying release that with strong boundaries, okay? Leading into the future. And be enthusiastic, man, because you've got some beautiful cards here. Leading into the future. The Six of Cups in reverse. No good memories, man. And that sucks. Oh, they may be regretting and questioning their actions. Melancholy. Alexa, what is melancholy? Melancholia or melancholy is a concept found throughout ancient, medieval, and pre-modern medicine in Europe that describes a condition characterized by markedly depressed mood, bodily complaints, and sometimes hallucinations and delusions. Man, they were putting up delusions, illusions, manipulations, something into your life, man. They were making you doubt and second guess everything, but it gave you a chance to open up to your heart because your heart is fucking beautiful, man, and your head is magnificent. You know you can create that divine abundance. Well, let's have a look here because whatever that from the past, I mean, that's what that card is in reverse. Melancholy, doubts and second guessing, regrets. They may be regretting their actions. Woo, you got a wish coming in. It's the same card we lifted up over there. All right, look at this card. Have a look. Boots. See, it's a wish. That's why I love these cards, right? Anything could come out, but you can guarantee with a victory that that's coming in, okay? And that's the best way to say that, okay? Because you walked away from a, a, a no communication and you did it with a pursuit of excellence because that's another soldier. The Knight of Swords is a soldier, right? It's on the pursuit. In this deck over here, it's somebody charging towards it, charging towards it when the, the horse is scared and everything's scared, but just charging towards it. 
Oh, wow. Yeah, you got something that's going to shock the shit out of you. When spirit brings in that wish, it's going to shock the crap out of you, okay? Because she chose to step on the right direction so spirit can kick that domino effect into play. It's going to shock you. It's a download in itself as well. So you may be learning something new coming in around deception. Okay, that you completed out already. But the world is completion. The whole thing over here is success coming into the future because of their deception. See the deception trapped you in the mind? Okay, and then you released it to grow in that mind. Release here is finish line to grow in that mind. And you stepped onto your journey by releasing it thing. And, and it's going to shock you. The growth. Pause and reflect on how far you've come. But the growth is absolutely beautiful, man. Absolutely beautiful. Because whatever they were doing, it might have been three people. A lot of karmics in that relationship, okay? But it was fated to work out that way. And I want you to see something. Good luck is on your side. On their side, it's in reverse. Not laughing, but it's in reverse because they ostracize you. They put you down. They wish ill health upon you. They put things in your way. It's obstacles that you didn't need, okay? But you were strength in that time, okay? So you could learn. See that? Strength in your time so you could learn as a soul and plan for your future, okay? With clear communication, divine judgment has been laid and there's a horophant straight under that for juggling you in some sort of way around love that you've completed out to heal, with hope and there's you stepping on the journey towards the sun because this ten of swords has been stabbed completely in the back but it's finished now to walk towards that legacy in itself okay with clear confidence and there's the enthusiasm as well good fates on your time like good fate like the wheel is magnificent okay the wheel is magnificent to be there as well okay so it shows you completed these things out and it was fated to step on that journey but man you're about to create good memories and that's the truth but you might have a lot of deceptive memories that need to be released from the past and there's the mirror over there in itself okay because she's got a mirror there in itself but you walked away see she's walked away so it does show because this may be nostalgia this may be somebody coming back from the past and thinking into the future because that's in the future there so that's coming back if that makes sense because you walked away just remember that okay because you've there was a lot of depression there from love in some sort of way but leading into the future, it does show you completed that stuff out to bring in the good news around love, okay, and stepping in that right direction. And it was hard work and determination to bring that stuff in because of all the juggling and the manipulation and stuff that was playing on your mind. You're a divine blessing. I'm telling you the truth. There's an ace, all right? An ace is a divine blessing and a divine blessing of love because cups are emotion. So it shows your love is beautiful. But I'm telling you the truth. Get enthusiastic about the, what's happening in the future, okay? Because you've learned the trials and tribulations leading into the future to bring this love in and know exactly how to appreciate the love and also put the boundaries in place to know exactly what you deserve, knowing your worth after what you've been through. Therefore, that way, man, you can be just like, and they come in and they want to play their games and then you've got to chase and do all this stuff. You can just be like, fuck off, exit stage right, <laughs> no more worth, mate, yeah, and that's the best way to say that, okay, because coming through this crap, you don't want to be back in that again, yeah, and that's fair, and it's better to walk alone than have somebody who's going to come in and manipulate, or somebody who's going to come in and put the same deceptions back in your life, you freed yourself from those deceptions, and it was hard work, man, because that's hard work around those memories being released, because of the depression around love, but it does show equilibrium is coming into that future, because I can see it right there, and we can see it from the past, that's where you get the wish of equilibrium, is of course the deception, as you stepped on towards your journey, and it's going to shock you, in itself, it's going to shock you as you end up all on the journey, okay? Just see your growth, man. Just see your growth, okay? We're going to have a look at the world. It's other people's thoughts, theories. It's the worldly views. But at the end of the day, it is relevant. Let's have a look. Oh, more butter fingers today. Oh, wow. Divine judgment's been laid on their piece of shit ways. It's the best way to say that. You worked on yourself, which is beautiful, okay? You've worked on yourself, okay? And that's magnificent because that's in thyself, yeah? It's the teamwork in thyself. Light bulb in itself but see the fruit soul is released to be free now divine judgment has been laid okay so you can have self-realization and sleep at night okay but divine judgment has been laid against the piece of shit that this is or whatever it is in itself because there's a lot of manipulation there and no good news is coming for a person that doesn't want to work with you if that makes sense and that's the best way to say that yes spirit i understand that Divine judgment's been laid, so just remember that in itself, okay? Your transformation is beautiful. Spirit says your love is beautiful. Continue to be you, right? And that's the that's the redemption there. Spirit knows your heart motives to be true, yeah? Which is beautiful in itself. You've worked on yourself thoroughly because there's you working on yourself, even through the manipulation that they wanted to tell you your worth ain't good enough, even through all the bad shit they poured into your life. Even through all those strong boundaries you put into place while these manipulating fuck wanted to keep coming in, but it shows you're coming towards you as a soul, which is magnificent because it's in the world and they can see 
whoever this is can see they did not teamwork with you and that's why they're receiving their judgment leading into the future. Alexa, what is the numerology meaning of number seven? In numerology, the number seven represents perfection, balance, and completeness. It is associated with mysticism, intuition, and a deep inner knowing. The number seven symbolizes the soul's journey in search of higher understanding and is associated with spiritual awakening and introspection. Man, you've worked hard on your soul because there's your introspection, there's a mirror reflection you want to put out, and there's that third eye on fire. All right, no good. No good here on the past, dead set, no good here on the past, but be enthusiastic leading into the future, okay? You've got some sort of divine wish. These are inevitable. That's what that is. It's inevitable. You cannot fuck around with divine God, let alone the divine so let alone your ancestors and angels and spirit guides and everything. They will not fuck around like that. I'm telling you the truth. Um, the best way to say that is who you are as a soul, and that is beautiful as you lead in towards yourself as a soul. Have a look at the hopes and fears, okay? Just remember that these are hopes and fears. <laughs> there's the ace of cups the ace of cups okay and there's the lovers all right i'm telling you the truth in your heart you'll wear your heart on your sleeve so it does project that out into the universe um the ace of cups is divine blessing it's inevitable regardless i was just talking about you divine blessing and there you are turning up with love into your future which is absolutely magnificent okay so uh, you can see the love there coming into the future that's fated which is inevitable in itself as you've stepped on your journey but those two cards in the in the hope in the fears like hopes like it, it could have come up with fears it's come up with hopes and that's beautiful because you are a hopeful sign and that's magnificent in itself when i look at the outcome then we'll pull the final cards but you got love coming cupid's going to come and shoot that ass oh hey, look the star there's the wish in itself there's you making the wish there's you receiving the wish in the future and then the outcome like spirit saying you're going to get that level up beautiful level up okay everybody wants to fight for that light you can see that light there in itself okay we can see that there and there's a star making the wish which upon the start the present moment is absolutely beautiful it's also your card you're divinely guided away now it's coming the outcome it's the first card at the start there as well of knowing no worth okay so you can communicate in itself it's in reverse from the past but it's upright here so you can see there was no communication from the past it's in reverse here the eight of eight of wands there was no inspiration there was nothing you couldn't trust this person they in itself okay but the best part about it it's leading you towards your good communication and it's good news in itself coming in okay because you stepped on the right journey in itself towards leading you to the the soul you are because you knew your worth and that is fantastic um i've never ever noticed all the bracelets on her hand i've never noticed that camel in the background there too camels may mean something to you Looks like Zorro. Da -da -da -da. You might wear a lot of rings. You might like opals because I can see that opal up there as well. And it's right in your thoughts. So you can see, you can guarantee that these beautiful things are coming in because that's a divine blessing in itself for starters. But yeah, knowing your worth is beautiful. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. And there's you getting the level up in itself, okay? And there's five to six in itself from the four to the five to the six to the 17 to the eight. Man, we're going through a tra trajectory here like you could never possibly imagine. Just heal at the present moment from any delusions that have been put into your life, okay? It's your victory. It's your success. Let's uh, pull the final cards and have a look at Aquarius. That's a beautiful outcome. I'm telling you the truth. That's a beautiful outcome, let alone the hopes that there. Divine judgment's been laid. Spirit knows your heart motives to be true. You wear hard on your sleeve. Absolutely beautiful, okay? Absolutely beautiful. You are a beautiful soul. You are passionate. You are comp you Male or female is irrelevant. But it's funny that this card over here, which is Pentacles, it's got the dog in front of it, which is a protective uh, type of uh, energy, if that makes sense. So it shows your ancestors are protecting you. And then we've got the black cat there in front of you. So it shows that you're very, very, very heavily protected in itself. And the spirit don't like it when they break your heart with illusions, with deceptions. Fucking hell, man. And there's the lovers. Far out, man. Temperance Angel there to watch everything, keep it safe, okay, as you plan for your world. So just remember that, okay? You are you are charismatic energy, you are confident, you're beautiful in itself, and that's absolutely beautiful. She's a beautiful queen, by the way. He or she's irrelevant. Sorry, spirit. Your confidence, creativity, your goals are getting met, your success, your ambition, you're a joyful person, you're finding determination, you're a social butterfly. You are charismatic, outgoing openness. And there's the openness and oneness of us all. You may have an interest in the occult. I don't know why that's in there, but you may have an interest in the occult. Alexa, what is the meaning of an occult? Oh, it's going to give me a car, I bet you. 
The word occult can have oh, a few you. different meanings. One definition of occult is the supernatural or mystical. It can also be used to describe secret or mystical knowledge. You're a magician. Just remember that. We have a divine abundance coming. I'm telling you the truth. You have a real divine abundance coming, and that's the heaven on earth in itself. And it's a divine abundance, okay? Because I've got the alpha to the omega. So we've got a lot of aces here. Ace, 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 ace. It does show that you are really a divine blessing. Spirit says, turn the black deck. Know your worth. It's the same card here to the same card here. It's also the same card that Spirit chucked out at the start. And there's you knowing that worth, okay? Having that introspection into who you are and knowing you deserve beautiful things. And that's fantastic, okay? We're going to chuck a card down here on your intuition. No luck coming for these people from the past for trapping you in the mind. Spirit wants another card, but you are going to release those burdens. It's a final push at the present moment for releasing the same card here to the same card here to the same card here. Look. Trapped in the mind, trapped in the mind. Whatever that was from the past, okay, that's why they're receiving bad fortune leading into the future. But you can release any regret at the present moment as you step towards, and that's a final push because the past was disgusting, man. Ten of swords. Hey, there it is, the charging horse. Look, you had, were determined to get away from it. That's fantastic because there it is there in itself. But that's what I was talking about with the horse. Even the horse was scared. Cut them down with your morals. Cut them down with your integrity. You showed integrity and morals. But not perfect, that's for sure. But you're allowed to defend yourself, especially against a piece of shit like that. Cut them down with your morals. Cut them down with your integrity. Spirit wants it. Spirit gets it. <laughs> uh, show morals. Show integrity. Be clear communication. It was decisive action, and that's beautiful because that's what King of Swords does. Decisive action. You took the action you needed to to free your mindset. Okay, there was no teamwork there, and you know it. Okay, but Temperance Angel was there to watch everything, keep it safe. Okay, you're going to give and receive to the universe. You deserve beautiful things leading into the future. But there was no giving and receiving in that that relationship, and it was like it was shattering your heart in some sort of way. No teamwork. No, see teamwork. No teamwork. Temperance there to watch it and self with no communication, and then you lead into the future with the beautiful harmony coming in, which brings in that legacy. And then we had the the three of three of swords, which is a broken heart, and then no teamwork. Future, come down with your morals, come down with your integrity. Absolutely beautiful. Whatever it was from the past, and I was saying it before we even started, it, it, it taught you to embrace who you are as a soul. Okay, because I've got a king to a queen here in itself, okay? These are uh, a beautiful couple in itself, okay? But when they're bad, they're bad, they're bad. There's bad fighting and there's bad conflict in itself, okay? But it shows you showed morals. And see how she's got a hand out there? It says, come on. Bring it on. Come on. Ring on. Divine judgment has been laid against anything from the past, okay? So, Spirit knows your heart and motives to be true, but it's fantastic, okay? So, be to your own drama is leading to the future in itself. This card is beautiful. It shows um, somebody who is optimistically impulsive, but it does show you're happy leading into the future. You're doing things that make you feel good. Um, you're seeking purpose and joy fearlessly and following your heart. Follow your heart. Follow your heart towards your fate, okay? And fated love, yeah, because it's in the lovers. It's in there. Follow your heart. Pay attention to the signs and synchronicities, the 111s, the 222s, the 333s, the 1234s, the 911s, the 777s, the angels whispering in your ear and beautiful things saying, look over here, there's a beautiful Cupid about to shoot you in the ass. Absolutely beautiful. Let's have a look at that heart. Ah, you're beautiful, yeah, absolutely beautiful. You're a divine soul and your heart should be protected at all times regardless. You do wear your heart on your sleeve so that puts emphasis on... Um, making sure you put boundaries in place leading into the future. But your authority and control, you've got control of your heart, which is its not easy to do, okay? It's the best way to say that. It's not easy to do, but you've got control of your heart and you know what you deserve, okay? And that's beautiful because you're a consistent and calm leader. You lead people with love and compassion. Oh, wow. You're, you're assertive, yes, but you are structured and you are the success leading into the future. And that's beautiful. Let's have a look at the world here. Be enthusiastic about your world. I'm serious. Be enthusiastic about what's about to come in. Extra card. Because all the sadness, just need to leave it there in itself, okay? Because you have something coming in. See the ship in the background? It's around love in itself. That's the king of love. It's a boss energy of love. Somebody that will know and appreciate you in itself and to who you are as a soul. The three of swords that they stab into your heart and there's a sort of justice, that clarity in itself. Because there's a clarity in itself, that sort of the ace of swords to help you sleep at night. But spirit says, just heal at the present moment. Beautiful things are coming, okay? And it's... I'm telling you the truth there's a beautiful ten of pentacles coming all right so just get ready for it when it comes in okay plan for your world there's planning and getting ready for it to come in which is fantastic okay but it is coming in divine timing because we can see that up there so maybe you're worried about that in itself options fantasy of the empress divine partnership coming in I'm telling you you're the empress it's in the outcome 
masculine to feminine different but man it's like you're gonna have like options or a lot of fantasy look okay look all those options and fantasy for the empress somebody male or female is irrelevant she has to have a face she is the empress but if I, if 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 I I was thinking about the other day, if I drew a set of cards, I would draw two faces on them. But then if everybody be like, "Oh, you're dealing with a two faced individual," so there's got to be a female's face on that and a male's face on that, regardless. But male or females are relevant. I know plenty of males that embrace their beautiful creativity and their beautiful heart and are unconditional love. And I've plenty of females that will kick the shit out of you. So just remember that in itself so it does show that there in itself but we do have a counterpart coming in okay because it's centered around the cup of love coming in for your heart and then in your your hopes and fears you've got love 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 and healing type of love too so and it's in the options there in itself so just understand that it's fated to come in last card in itself and it's fated to give you a level up because of all the fighting and conflict that you've had in itself okay where you've just it's the same card at the start there look at that it's the same card here too Look at that. There you go. And these five cards. All the conflict in your life has led you towards the spiritual satisfaction of who you are as a soul, yes. But it's bringing in some sort of communication, some sort of love, okay, that's going to be very communicative. And it literally screams it there for starters. May result in marriage, but not everybody wants to get married. So it's time to celebrate and happy. But just make sure that you put the boundaries in place because you are a wounded warrior and somebody who's been through it and your heart needs to be protected. Look at it. Looking at that heart in itself but it is a time to celebrate leading into the future okay and that's magnificent because you've got a w universal wish coming around love and you can guarantee it's coming in okay you're just learning at the moment yeah look at the universal wish clarity and the victory around love and it's in the heart over there absolutely beautiful ten of cups and the same cards coming out again we did have a lovely beautiful day i want you to take care i want you to god bless if it resonates or anything resonates can you give me a like um, just know beautiful things are coming because that's the outcome of the reading up here. This is the current energy, but that's the outcome. And it sort of goes hand in hand here, man, considering the same cards are up there as well. And it does show that just to be passionate, enthusiastic. The things in the past were learning lessons, but there's a lot of judgment being laid for that world. And so it's a chance, chance for you to release any sadness so you can let fall because release sadness and heal as you get the way fated gift coming in, okay? And it's definitely there in itself. It's right right there fated world so it does show it's going to come in regardless have a lovely beautiful day take care god bless stay woke stay beautiful man your heart is lovely take care